Canada. The first thing you do is take it apart. Then you put it together again, but this time with extra doodads like dual carburetors, superchargers, special cylinder heads. Sometimes a bit of spit and polish too. And there you are, a hot rod ready to burn the tar off the road. Usually any old jalopy will do for these young Canadians, but the hot rod world has its aristocrats, like this sleek job that cost $5,500 before it was finished. But what's this? Only a sedate 40 miles an hour? Yes, but not for long. They're on their way to the drag races, and then they'll cut loose. Before the races, tune-up time here at Abbotsford Airport near Vancouver. From onlookers and enthusiasts, there are questions, criticisms, admiration. For the competitors, there are last-minute adjustments to the temperamental high-strung engines. And a unique feature, a benevolent interest on the part of the police who check each car for safety. No needless chances taken here. Steering wheels, tie rods, and safety belts all have to be gone over before a car is okayed. Crash helmets are compulsory for drivers of convertibles. It's all part of the pre-race ritual, just like the inevitable crowning of the Queen of the Hot Rodders. All contestants are members of the British Columbia Custom Car Association, an organization formed with the help of the Vancouver Police Department. In this way, the city solved the problem of hot rodders screaming up and down streets in their potentially murderous vehicles. The young speed demons readily agreed to this safe and sane approach. Down goes the flag and they're off. From a standing start, some of these cars can build up to 100 miles an hour in a brief 10 seconds. And that's really fast going. It's not always the fancy job that wins either. It's strictly engine performance that counts. The airstrip makes a perfect track for the race with lots of room to move around. Better to be roaring down here at wildly illegal speeds than down busy highways, as hot rodders do in other places. Off the track, rules of the road are strictly adhered to. Any member fined for an infraction of driving laws is also fined by the club and can be suspended from all club activities. In return for obeying the law, the custom car enthusiasts get plenty of police cooperation in staging races. For the winners, there are, of course, trophies awarded in different classes according to factors like weight and horsepower. The trophies can be held until the next meet, when once again they'll all try to break the record in this exciting sport of young men and aged cars. <laughs>